Today was a busy day at Sacred Heart. We had three separate patients waiting for transplants, and we were doing everything we could to keep them alive while we could locate donors. There was Mrs. Sykes, who needed a new liver. There was Mr. Dennison, who needed a new heart valve. And then there was Dr. Cox's guy, Dave Bradford. So now, Davey boy, I promise you, we're gonna find you a kidney. I would literally swear on my father's grave, but whenever I go there, I usually just end up dancing on it. And so begins another round of who had the worst dad. One of my pop's nicknames for me was Sparky, because he liked to light matches off my neck. We've been over this before. You win on account of your father's not dead yet. Hey, wanna go split these on some deli counter meatloaf? I can't finish a whole serving. I mean, I can, but I don't like to. It all goes right here. <laughs> Dear God, could this be any more of a nightmare? Guys! Yes, it could be more of a nightmare. Jill Tracy was a former patient who had once tried to kill herself. Sad, yes, but this did not change the fact that she was unbelievably annoying. Oh my God, what are you doing here? I was supposed to meet a guy for a date. I know what you're thinking, a Tuesday lunch date at a supermarket? He is so not into her. Well, guess what? He's not! <laughs> I've been waiting for like an hour and just thinking, how many more guys from my yoga class can totally reject me without me just saying, enough, you know? <laughs> yoga pretzels, oh yeah, these are addictive. <laughs> I can have one anyway. So, you guys wanna grab some lunch? Oh, uh, we have to get back to the hospital. Amar. Trail mix? <laughs> I, you know, I'm not, I won't. What's up, awesome. <laughs> you know what, Noby, stay, have lunch. One of those emergencies I should probably go to. How are things? Mm. Dr. Dorian, can you help me? Sure, what's going on? She was admitted a short time ago and she hasn't regained consciousness. Tax is positive for cocaine. Do you think she could have OD'd? She had been uh, stood up on a couple dates and uh, she hadn't seen her shrink in a while. She was definitely depressed. How do you know all that? She told me. And with organ transplants, if there's good news for one doctor... People, I've got our organs. It probably means bad news for another. You can use her organs. Thank you. Just tell me this. Is there anything anyone could have done? No. Unless you mean me. It's amazing how quickly people improve once they get a new organ. Whether it's Mrs. Sykes with her new liver, Mr. Dennison with his new heart valve, or Dave. How, uh, how's that new kidney feel, huh? It's a little loose, but I'll get used to it. <laughs> yeah, you will. Hey, thanks for everything, man. I'll sweat it. Uh, all right, people, gather around. Here we go. Now, I'm sure we all recognize just how rare it is to get a win like this, but seeing as we are surrounded by patients who are clinging to life, I'm going to give kudos in whisper form. And since I am an egomaniac, first props come to me. Let me hear it, people. You are some kind of superhero. You are a god. You're a beautiful healer. This was not a complete and total solo effort. It was an extraordinary job done by each and every one of you. And why are you not giddy with praise like those other people? Don't you know I dole out compliments at most once a year? And like a squirrel, you must gather up these acorns of kind words to sustain you for the upcoming cold, sarcastic months. Any idiot could have seen that Jill was in trouble. Supposed to be a doctor, and I'm the reason she's dead. Then he said the words I never expected to hear. Why don't you and I go grab some lunch? That'd be good. Come on. You know what I was thinking the whole time I was having lunch with Jill? What's that? God, this girl's annoying. I saw her in that supermarket too, but I'm not torturing myself. Would you like to know why? Why? Because she didn't come to the hospital looking for help. We just randomly bumped into her out here in the world. I mean, don't get me wrong. If a guy gets shot or 
if he has a heart attack and I am physically the closest doctor to him, I will intervene. Shy of that, you can't. I mean, you just can't. It's too much to ask yourself. Okay, I hear you. No, you don't. Once you start blaming yourself for deaths that aren't your fault, my friend, that's a slippery slope that you can't come back from. And trust me, I've seen it ruin a hell of a lot of good doctors, and I will not let it happen to you. And because he said that, I knew it wouldn't. What the hell is going on? Everybody's failing.